Hello folks, music buzz, so let's get into some music news. Starting with, the Foo Fighters have finally revealed who will be taking the drum throne for their 2023 live shows, and it's none other than legendary session drummer Josh Freeze. Josh is a perfect choice and has lent his amazing drum skills for bands like A Perfect Circle, Nine Inch Nails, Guns N' Roses, The Offspring, and a boatload more, and He's also a member of the Vandals and Devo. One of my favorite works from Josh is his contribution to Suicidal Tendency's most underrated record, The Art of Rebellion. I love that record. Josh is obviously filling the void from the loss of Taylor Hawkins, who died way too early at 50 years old last year. I'm glad to see that the Foos are moving forward. They say music heal heals, so let the healing begin. Kurt Cobain's Stage Smash Black Fender has sold for a whopping $595,000 at Julian's Auctions. The guitar was smashed by Kurt at a show and was rebuilt, but it's unplayable. The guitar is signed by all four members and features an inscription to Mark Lanigan of Screaming Trees that reads, Hello Mark, love your pal, Kurt Cobain, washed up rock star. This guitar didn't fetch millions like the previous two, but 595 k is nothing cheap. Congrats to the new owner. According to Revolver, Tool frontman Maynard challenged Florida's anti-drag narrative at Tool's Sunday night show by dressing in drag, complete with prosthetic boobs, blonde wig, and lipstick. Maynard was essentially in violation of the law since the show was all ages, and DeSantis just signed a recent bill into law a few days ago. If I couldn't love Maynard more, I swear, freaking love this guy. If you didn't know that Maynard used to dress in drag for, show, for shows back then for Tool, then please don't call yourself a Tool fan. Anyhow, let's see if this ruffles DeSantis' feathers. Moving on to David Draymond of Disturbed. David recently opened up about mental health and his battle with suicide and depression. On a recent stop in Milwaukee, citing that he almost joined Chester Bennington, Chris Cornell, and Scott Weiland in the afterlife. David shared that addiction and depression can happen to anyone and that no one is immune from it, no matter how beautiful their life may look from the outside. He further says, no matter how blessed they may seem, it's out of their control. David has also followed up with a huge thank you on Twitter for the outpouring of support he has received since opening up. Friends, if you are feeling depressed or are battling addiction, I urge you to seek help, talk to someone, and take the necessary steps to get to a better place. You owe it to yourself. And seriously, don't ever feel alone because you are not alone. If you haven't already, hit the like and the subscribe button and make sure to turn on notifications for the next time I post. It really helps increase engagement and please, please help spread the word. Greatly appreciate it. Moving on to Gene Simmons of KISS. Gene has confirmed that he has indeed slept with 5,000 women. In a recent interview with The Sun, he finally put the claim to bed and confirmed that it is true. I mean, holy shit. That's a lot of women. Gene claimed that he was like a vulture waiting on the sidelines until all the guys got drunk and that the prettiest girls didn't get drunk, so he'd walk in and choose whichever birds he liked. He also says that the band wanted to be the Beatles on steroids and it's where he got his inspiration from. Kiss is currently on the road for their end of road tour and tickets are still available through their site. Google has made their text to music AI public. Music LM is a new experimental tool that can turn text descriptions into music and is currently available in the AI Test Kitchen app. In short, you can type in a prompt like create rock music for the emo kids in the cafe and the tool can create several versions of the song. I have a feeling something about AI conjuring up songs may not sit right with a lot of folks due to copyright, but I think only time will tell. I've signed up for Music LM and we'll be testing the app this week, so look out for my video where I test the app, give some critique, and lend some insight on the overall functionality of the app. Miley Cyrus has ixnayed world tours and touring in general. 
Miley gave the revelation in a recent interview with British Vogue, saying that after the last show she did in 2014, she kind of looked at it as more of a question and said that she can't and has no desire to do so. She also says that singing for hundreds and thousands of people isn't really the thing that she loves and that she prefers performing for friends and loved ones in her close circle rather than an entire arena and that she is now focused on her happiness instead. I mean, I think at this point in her career, she can pretty much do what she wants. Not many artists or bands can afford not to tour, but Miley can. I hope she finds the happiness she's looking for. Few more things before I wrap up. RTG Red Truck 305 has uploaded full shows of Metallica live in Amsterdam to YouTube and he captured some fantastic audio of the show, so check that out. Guitar masters Rodrigo and Gabriela have added backing tracks to their live shows and I can't wait to hear that. Dead by Daylight action horror video game is adding Iron Maiden cosmetics, so that's gonna get pretty interesting there. And lastly, I'm releasing a new backing track to jam with this Thursday, so please, please check that out and get your shred on. And with that, thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and help spread the word. I'll see you next time.